Let someone shout hallelujah. If you know without a doubt that God will do something wonderful in your life this morning, shout hallelujah. Let's give those thanks to the Almighty God and bless Him. Let's give Him praise. Thank you, Lord, because you are such a great God. You are such an excellent God. Thank you for accepting our worship. Thank you for accepting our praise. Thank you for accepting our prayers. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. You are wonderful. You are excellent. You are glorious, Lord. Blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your holy name, O God. We adore you. We magnify you. We lift you high. There is none like you. Blessed be your name, O God. We thank you for your presence, because we know in your presence there is fullness of all. We bless your holy name, Lord. And at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Everything to settle on some. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you adoration. Blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your name, O God. Oh, we bless your name, O God. Thank you, our God. Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Yeah. Matchless love and beauty, endless work. Oh, God. Nothing in this world will satisfy. You will never depart from us. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. People of God, say a louder amen. amen. Please be seated. I just have about a very few minutes to spend here. I want to really appreciate my pastor. Thank you so much for this honor. The Lord will continue to lift you up in Jesus' name. And for every one of us here, the Lord will continue to bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Like pastor said, today I want to be... Uh, my birthday. Amen and amen. And you know something? Whenever a man is celebrating his birthday, that particular day, at least even people will not know you will give you gift. People that have forgotten you, they will still greet you on Facebook, they will remember you. Am I not forgetting? Talk to me, George. Even people that ask you, hey, so today is his birthday because somebody posted it. They will send a word of greeting to you and my congregation. Yeah. That's why I stand on this exalted altar to decree concerning somebody's life here. You will be remembered for good today in the name of Jesus. You are not saying that amen like somebody that believes. Say that amen loud and clear. Say that amen loud and clear. Please be seated. Now one of the things that God has told me to tell somebody here this morning is that you will never be thirsty in the midst of water. Oh, am I talking to somebody here this morning? You will not be thirsty in the midst of water. Luke chapter 5 verse 4 to 6. Luke chapter 5 verse 4 to 6. He says, and now when he has there speaking, he said unto Simon, launch into the deep and let your nets for a drought. And Simon answered, said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night, and we have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the nets. And when they are done this, they enclose the great multitude of fish, and their nets break. You will not be thirsty in the midst of water. There are so many people that are thirsty in the midst of water. I'm sure you know what that statement means. What you need it's all around us, but it looks as if nothing is activating it. The, the prayer and the answer of Peter was just by his side there. Am I congregating? That's yes, so when the Lord told him that launch back, he said, We have been there all day long. But as the word of the Lord, it did not, the Bible says, it was a great catch. I decree in the name of the one that created the heavens and the earth. The one that owns the manual of your life, that knows exactly what to do at the right time to make your life work again, I decree everything you have been looking for before the end of this week, it will manifest itself to you and I in the name of Jesus. That 
element can be better than that. Maybe you are like Peter. You are already washing your nets. You are about to call it a day. You are about to give up. It looks as if nothing else can happen again. It looks as if the day is over. He was washing his neck. He was about to drop, throwing the towel for the day. But the Lord appeared. By the power of the one that created the heavens and the earth. Before you touch ground, the Lord will appear for you in the name of Jesus. And the Lord said, Amen, loud and clear. It might look and see that everything is going down. But there's one thing that is true. The Bible says, underneath is everlasting now. That means you will never touch the ground. I pray for you and I pray for myself. Everything that looks as if it is going down in your life right now, I pray the Lord will appear for you in the name of Jesus. Say that amen loud and clear. Say that amen loud and clear. When a man is thirsty in the midst of water, that means the man is lacking. That means that man is sick. It's not sick under it, not malaria. You know, it's not only malaria that is sickness. There are times you will be sick of different things. There's a particular time, normally when I'm going out for some business stuff, I know my wife always wants to go with me because she has sits in the office. But this particular one, I said, no, no, you can't go. Let me quickly rush. Before I go to the airport, she called me, she's not feeling fine. She said, no, be sick, there's not only malaria. You didn't miss me. <laughs> Amen. Then one of my pastors saw her. I said, why didn't you come from inside? I was sick. The day my wife saw me, Sickness fly away. You know that one? <laughs> That's somebody shout hallelujah. When a man is lacking something, that means that man is particularly is sick, is deficient concerning that thing. Sickness is about your, your, your body, you, are, you lost your immunity, or one thing or the other, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know how many of us here, there's so many things in your life that you are lacking. By the power of the one that created the heavens and the earth. Before the end of today, if you can believe God, that answer that you are looking for uh, is right where you are right now. And God will open your eyes to see you in the name of Jesus. That's what George. Sir, can you remember that in those days when we were young, when you are ill, anything you ask your parents for, they will give it to you. You see, mommy, rice. They will give it to you. Oh, the chicken, the pepper is too much. Can we add a little bit of sauce? They will give it to you. I'm not going to get it. So, oh, I think I feel like drinking ice, taking ice cream. Yeah. What would they do? They give it to you. They will run and go and get it for you. Why? Because you are down. No one that Jesus said, He said, I have come to save those that have been afflicted. He saw the man by the pool, 38 years, and he looked at him. He said, This man is actually sick. I have good news for somebody here. In every area that you are lacking, the Lord has located you. The Almighty God will answer you speedily in the name of Jesus. I can hear that name loud and clear. I can hear that name loud and clear. And guess what? Please be seated. You know when you are ill, sir, you send people on assignment. But when your body gets well back, if you send them, they will give you one knock, they will make you go shorter. You know what they are? When you are not feeling fine, you can say, Mommy, let me bring that water from the room. Say, Where is it? Daddy, ah, I need pillow. What do they do? They don't want to get it. And guess what? Bible says, he said, command ye ye the works of my hand. You can command your parents. Not like you are commanding God, but through prayers and through what we ask. That's what they're going to do today. Hello? Maybe it's only me that needs something because I'm going to ask and I know God will answer. It's one that says, he said, command me. Ask until your joy be what? Full and it's overflow. Maybe there's any area of your life before you open your voice, before the end of your day, can I have somebody that can believe God will be here this morning? Before the close of today, God will come to your rescue. Say that amen loud and pray. Say that amen loud and pray. Say that amen loud and pray. And that's what you know while I was coming here this morning. I was at God, and God reminded me of this scripture. In Psalms chapter 2, verse 7 to 9, I, I ran up with this now. In Psalms chapter 2, verse 7 to 9, I read a message translation. He says, let me tell you what God said next. He said, you are my son, and today is your birthday. What do you want? 
name it. Nations as a present, continent as a price. You can command all of them to dance for you, or throw them out like tomorrow's trash. Today is my birthday. And everything I ask, I'm sure God will give it to me. Yeah. You are not happy, you are not happy. If you are the celebrant in a birthday party, you know if you tell the musician, don't sing that song, what will they do? They will not. sing it. If you tell them, give me something, they will. They will. Yeah. If you say, bring all the drinks to the high table, what they happens? They will be good. Now, that is how it is. There was a particular birthday, although it was a negative one, when the daughter of Erodias, I say Erodias, not Ero, he said, give me the head of John the Baptist. Nice. Now, because of them, John the Baptist was a principality that was struggling them. I pray for you. I'm connecting with you today because today is my birthday. And the Lord said, I should ask anything. And what I'm asking from the Lord today is that every one of us here, our prayers will be answered in the name of Jesus. Anyone that will not give you joy, the Lord will come. including myself and those watching all over the world. Lord, what we need, where we need to be, open our eyes, just like you opened the eyes of Abraham. He was testing in the midst of water, wanted to kill his son, but the ram was already waiting. That breakthrough, that scale, that is covering our eyes from seeing the way to go, let that scale fall off again in the name of Jesus. Deficient, my father, my God, we command. Let healing and let the joy and our favor come to us in the name of Jesus. It's time to live over because you said today is my birthday. I should ask anything. I ask to God that all the prayers of all those here and those connected all over the world.